Hello, in this video, I will discuss about location of a style. Location of a style means how you can put CSS in the web page. Whenever you are writing the CSS, how you can add in the web page that is called again the location of a style. There are the three types of the location of a style. First one is called the inline CSS, another is called internal style sheets. Inline style sheets, another thing is called document type style sheets and the third one is external style sets. so one by one we will see the all these all these so first one is inline inline style set here you see normal html page after the body you can write the any elements based upon your again the purpose so here this example after the body you see paragraph tag is there in paragraph what was i thinking that a statement is there and we can close that paragraph tag okay so as for the inline CSS, we'll apply the some CSS properties for this paragraph elements. Inline elements, inline CSS, you can add any number of the elements in the single page. Suppose that after the P you have a B also, you have a HR also, whatever you have, all places you can add the CSS based upon your requirements. So in this example, only one element I added, same fashion we can follow the other all elements. So see the syntax for the inline. This is very simple only. Paragraph P. After that we can give a space. A style. S T Y L E. That is the syntax here. Equal to. And you have to open the double quote and close the double quote. Middle of that one you have to write the all of the properties. Any number of the properties you can add. Okay. Inside this tag. So text hyphen align, this is the one properties with the help of this property, you can display the content in the center of the page. So text hyphen align, that is the properties. Okay, colon, that is the syntax. After the property, we have to give the colon, then value, then semicolon. Property, colon, value, semicolon. So text align is the property, colon, again value, center. There are the four values are there, left, right, center, top bottom is again there but the generally the person is using the left right and center only so text hyphen align colon center then put the semicolon okay so one property along with the value done next again property you can add for font hyphen weight font hyphen weight just like if you want to display the message you contain in the little bit bold like h1 h2 you know already then after that b is there in one of the element same way here font hyphen weight one properties with the help of this property you can make a statement little bit bold so that again the font hyphen weight colon then value you can give either in the terms of the hundred multiple of the hundreds otherwise bold or bolder that also it is possible so here i added the bold bold b o l d bold then again the semicolon then color color is the font color of the text color font color whatever you were telling that is the properties color here c o l o r l colon yellow then semicolon close the double quote okay and then after that whatever your html statement is there what was i thinking that is statement close the paragraph tag so once you can run this kind of the css and then you can see the statement is coming again little bit bold and the color will be the yellow and the all of the statement is the center of the web page so this way you can add the inline CSS. So next is the internal CSS. You can say internal CSS or document type CSS. Both are the same. So that should be after opening the head and before closing the head we have to write the syntax of the document type otherwise internal CSS. You see here again the yellow color whatever the statement is there that is the example of internal css so in this example you see there are the three parts first round circle second round circle and third round circle you see first one is the syntax whenever you are writing the after the htm after the opening the head that internal css we have to write the style type equal to text slash css 
after the title generally you can write after the closing of the title but it should be after the opening the head and before closing of the head okay so here again a style type equal to double quote text slash css and all should be in the small only and then you can see below again the last closing of the style is there so whatever the syntax whatever the things you are writing that should be within uh, between of this one and here based upon the different type of the selector you can use any selector so here they are using the simple selector again so any element you can use so they use the here body again so body they put text hyphen a line one of the properties and the font family they put for the another properties okay so same way if you want you can go for the paragraph again p then again the p then again after that syntax is a curly bracket how you can write same whatever you are writing in the inline same kind of the syntax is here again so here again extra thing is there there again whatever you are writing inside a double quote but here extra thing is there name of element colon uh, sorry curly bracket and then the property colon value semicolon property colon value semicolon is the same but extra thing is there extra thing is only the element and then again the curly bracket so here there are the two properties they added they added the here two properties one is the text hyphen a line another is the font family got it and then then again they open the curly bracket and close the curly bracket if you want to add one more again the properties so again no need to write the style type equal to text less css here only after closing the curly bracket again you can write the element name any element name whatever you want otherwise where you want to apply so i am adding here again suppose that paragraph p then again curly bracket then you can put for the font color so color colon red white whatever you want color colon red i am putting then semicolon and close the curly bracket so in that pattern you can write the any number of uh, css properties for this element what is the main advantage here suppose that in that page this is applicable for the only one page where you are writing this one so in that page where you have again the paragraph okay so that paragraph format will be the change as per your this css properties here we added for the body that means that page again the all of your text and the font family will be the one kind another page if you want different kind of the font as the alignment then in that page again you can put the document type of the css in the that way that is the advantage of the inline css uh, internal css that is called the document type of css okay so here again the this style type equal to text less css and again closing of the style this is the very very important whatever the document type css if you are writing other by internal css you have to write you are writing that should be bin lock this only and this should be the standard format is after opening after the closing of the title and before closing of the head you can write and the bracket and the declaration already i told regarding this ones here again bracket is there curly bracket then again the property colon next thing is there again the external css external css is like a document type of the css but document type of the css you are writing the style type textless css that not required that you remove after that whatever the contents are there that contents you can put inside the one notepad one file okay and that file name you give the extension is the dot css and just see i created suppose that my css dot css file you can give any file name but extensions extension should be the dot css so here extension my file name is the my css dot css and in that file without that one style type text less css okay you write all of the properties suppose that we added again the body then again curly bracket then again you can go for the property colon value again another property colon value semicolon same way you can adjust n number of the any again property in the one css file and that css file we have to link with your page which any page you can link okay any number of the page so i link here again the linking purpose you have a syntax here link but that again you have to keep in your mind that should be after the opening of the head and the before closing of the head section only so here how to link 
सेम वे लिंक एल आई एन के लिंक एंगल ब्रैकेट आर एल इक्वल टू स्टाइल सीट आर एल इक्वल टू स्टाइल सीट देन अगेन क्लोज इन स्टेट दैट शुड बी इनसाइड साइड डबल कोट देन अगेन स्पेस एच आर ई एफ हाइफर लिंक फॉर योर फाइल सो डबल कोट वेर एवर योर एक्सटेंशन इज देयर दैट फाइल डॉट सी एस एस फाइल दैट वी हैव टू गिव आई दर कंप्लीट पार्ट अदरवाइज इफ सपोज दैट बोथ आर इन द सेम प्लेसेस देन ओनली फाइल नेम इज ऑल्सो द इन and then again type equal to text less css that is not a mandatory that is the optional but, but first two is the mandatory so type equal to text less css okay inside the double quote and then you are running this page so you have to run the html file only once you can run the html file then whatever the impact is any of that css that will be coming to your page okay so in that way this is again the more popular uh, linking process of the css for the any professional web page why it is important here you can get it all of the css properties inside the single page inside the single page and that you can reflect to the all of the layout of the page tomorrow if anything if you want to change so only one place you can change it will reflect to the all of the places that is the advantage of the external css so almost all of the bootstrap otherwise whatever the different kind of the framework they can use only the external css format only okay so these three are the very very important linking of the css so next video again i will discuss about the next part of your topic so thanks for your patience